Hello everyone, this is Marcos D'Angelo here. I'm the founder, guitarist and vocalist of the band Claustrophobia or Claustrophobia. And I'm glad to be here because today is my episode of Behind the Riff with Jackson Guitars. So this is my X-Series King V, seven strings. The tuning is E flat standard with drop G sharp. So it's very, very heavy. So check it out. The name of this song is The Encrypted. This is the second track from our last album, Leeched. And I decided to come up with this riff today because it's a very simple riff, but very, very meaningful for me because it shows perfectly the way that I developed my playing all over the years, you know? And basically, all the riffs of this track is inspired by Brazilian rhythm. And, and also, it's a very traditional metal riff, you know? but with some tricks and skills hidden on it, which make it interesting for me and also matches with the title of the track, Encrypted, you know? So I'm gonna play a little bit for you. I will try to break down and to explain you, all right? So... <laughs> Right, so slowly. All right, so instead I play only down strokes. Usually people would play only down strokes. Or even alternate picking like. try to do something inspired in a by a Brazilian instrument called tamborim, so it's something like that. So it's two down strokes, one up, three down, one up, two down. And you put the accent on the up strokes. All right. Following by this kind of lick, very hard for me to explain this technically because I'm not a guitar, a technical guitar player, you know, sorry about that. So, but I can try to play slowly at least. <laughs> Right, so this is very natural for me. I play this, it's something instinctive, but it's still in, inspiring in a Brazilian rhythm. This part, especially, is on a, in a specific instrument called beating bow. So it's a mix of everything, all right? So yeah, I think that's it. One more time. <laughs> Is putting the Brazilian swing. Can you hear it? It's a different vibe, different flavor, different environment maybe. And yeah, that's it. So um, now I'm gonna play the bridge and the chorus of this track, all right? So check it out.
This is the riff. Slowly. This is very nice grooving, you know, it's comfortable playing, heaviness, and when we put everything together, uh, like drums, bass guitar, tribal voices on it, it sounds amazing, at least I think. <laughs> it's very convenient for me to remembering that Sepultura came up with this kind of approach back in 90s, you know. Um, Andres Kisser and Max Cavalera were and still are heroes for me, you know. They were the real game changer for the metal in Brazil, you know. So, because back in the days, uh, all the Brazilian bands tried to sound like an European or American band, you know. And Sepultura made us pay attention in everything was surrounding us, you know. And mainly um, made us looking inside ourselves which was really important for me and I'm very loyal to the, their legacy, you know. Since that point, I think I developed a hybrid way of my playing, you know, and it became something natural for me, you know. And I use this kind of approach basically in 100% of my riffs and compositions, you know. Yeah, and I'm very thankful for this too. The bottom line is not only bring the Brazilian metal style to the world, you know, but represent and express the metal from the tropics in general, you know. I think this is the most important thing for me. All right, so by the way, I have a very good news for you guys. We are gonna drop a new video clip for this track, The Encrypted, very, very soon. So stay tuned in our social medias. You can look for claustrophobia with the F, not PH, all right? Thank you very much, Jackson Guitars, for having me today with Behind the Riff. It's a huge pleasure for me and a massive thanks for all the Claustro fans and friends all over the world. And muito obrigado, meus irmãos brasileiros, ok? So thank you, peace, love and metal. Let's finish with more riffs for you.